Um, okay. New game. What? <laughs> why do they? <laughs> I mean, why do they call it this? Solid normal, naked normal. Normal setting for Europe and North America. Well, what's naked normal? What does this mean? For players who don't like it too easy. Interesting. I don't think they normally have all that. The liquid slander, I know, right? Like, what do they mean by that? <laughs> I think I'm just gonna go with solid normal because that's what it's started on, so we'll see. I mean, I don't know if I'm skilled at action games or not, so maybe I'll die. What even is normal in games anymore, right? This is 2008, like, we don't know what normal is. Now, you have answered nine out of ten questions right, Melissa. You have one question left. Now, if you get it wrong, then we have to say goodbye and maybe good luck. But don't hold your breath. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm going to get it right. I want that new RV. Larry and I have been planning this vacation forever. Well, now, Larry, that would be your husband, of course. Yeah. Hi there, Larry. Who are these people? <laughs> I, I hope for that RV, old bet, Larry. Sure, I, I guess. Larry's such a good man. We've been married for a while. He wants to give me the second Melissa, name. Melissa, I'm going to have to ask you to choose your question, please. <laughs> what is this? Business of war. Oh. Business of war. <laughs> Which PMC had a humble beginning in France, but now manufactures 51.5 million firearms per year? and employs an armed force the size of Mexico and Canada's total populations combined. Rajima, what happened? <laughs> uh, oh God. I know that one. Oh, I doubt that. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay. Wrong. B. The correct answer is B. Melissa. Oh, Melissa. You knew the correct answer was B. You should have tried just a little bit harder. Hey, Melissa? Why is this guy like some sadistic tormentor? Kojima, what's going on here, buddy? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> it's like one of my Japanese animes. It is. It is too much like that. Okay, that well they're cool. Thanks for that little what if we made a game show, Kojima. That's very interesting. In the not-too-distant future, on a tired battlefield, war has become routine. I wonder if I'll ever understand what that was at the beginning. A Hideo Kojima game. Quentin Flynn? We know that name. Let's go. War has changed. It's no longer about nations, ideologies, or ethnicity. It's an endless series of proxy battles fought by mercenaries and machines. Sounds like war <laughs> and its consumption of life has become a well-oiled machine. has changed. ID tag soldiers carry ID tag weapons. Use ID tag gear. ID tag. Nanomachines inside their bodies enhance and regulate their abilities. Genetic control. Information control. Emotion control. Battlefield control. Everything is monitored and kept under control. War 
has changed. The age of deterrence has become the age of control. All in the name of averting catastrophe from weapons of mass destruction. <laughs> and he who controls the battlefield controls history. changed when the battlefield is under total control yeah, war becomes routine Think of any other anime person weapon. I feel like that's that's it. We'll say that's number one. <laughs> I'm sorry. You really just gonna throw me in here? Old snake. Jeez. Um. So already off the bat, I. We're in the distant future, I guess, and we're in like a middle of a war zone, which is weird to me because it's like, why would he be doing that? Um, like we get it if we're at war, but it seems like his strength are not in the war. So interesting setting. So I really don't get what's going on. I'm not going to lie. Can I get under the car? Like, <laughs> what the frick's the crawl button? <laughs> okay, we're gonna have problems with that probably. Okay, so Otacon sounds like he's the same age, so I'm confused. He sounds like he hasn't aged a day. Show me Otacon now. What if Otacon just pulled up on one of these? That'd be sick. Otacon tutorial. Bro, stop putting me in the game. It's scary. Is he on our team? <laughs> I don't know. My face win R1 and whatever doesn't do anything. Don't forget, Snake. This is still a sneak How am I supposed to rule still applies? Is he our friend? Yes or no? <laughs> I don't know, Otacon. I am scared. Seems like these guys need some lessons in stealth or something, you know what I mean? Why am I 80 years old? Rumble director, that's sick. Directing all the rumble. Moo. Show us the cow. The cow stopped all the war.
They made Metal Gear cows? Too soon. He's really just shooting at it. Oh shit. You told me I gotta start doing shit. It's Metal Gear Solid 3 all over again. Just head north, bro. Okay, north's that way. Are you an enemy or? Weez, what kind of compass are you reading, lad? That's what I'm wondering. Okay, we are not going north, I think. I don't know. <laughs> or are we? Okay, let's go pick that up. We got something. Like, I think... Can we go in this door? I just am confused on how this compass works. I'm not gonna lie. I think this guy might be coming after me. Just a thought. Never mind, we're okay. <laughs> we showed him who's boss. We're good. Show him what a real war crime is. Impossible challenge, don't get shot immediately. I feel like I may be passed. I just need to know why he's so old. Kojima, please. Metal Gears are OP. Yeah, they're looking a little too strong. Could you please just say up on a gun, right? Yeah. Ah. I tried to press L1. Okay, it was too late. Just a dead body. I mean, that's the pose. Maybe this is all an anti-smoking ad, basically. They're saying, snake has smoked too much, this is what you will look like in just two years of smoking. Thank you, Karate. I need that. <laughs> Wait, we have rock armor? Let's go. No place to hide on the box. That's funny. Little creeps. No place for Hideo? <laughs> what does he mean? Watermelons. Whoa, I was actually right? <laughs> what? You got him. Nice. Let me guess, Otacon made this for us? I bet he did. 
Bro, you're still gonna smoke that? That's how you know. Come on, dude. <laughs> He's a watermelon booty. Snape is licking himself, yeah. Huh. Metal Gear is saying no to a lot of things. It is true. It's Metal Gear Solid 4. Watermelon time. Opening theme, love theme. Lyrics by Hideo Kojima. Go off, King. <laughs> Those cows do have some legs. You would make killing machines sound like cows just for the shock value. It does still look really good, honestly. I agree. Getting too old for this shit? Yeah, he is, and I don't understand why he's so old. I want answers. <laughs> Fart title drop, yeah. Snake smoking that good good, you think? What's he doing? He's modding? <laughs> Me, when I mod a gun. He's like, wait a second, is that Hideo Kojima under there? Did you guys know that Kojima made this game? I don't know, he hasn't put his name enough times, I'm not sure. Nami. Never heard of him. Must be a new uh, up-and-coming game developer. Three days earlier. Oh, a little. Okay. Let's see Otacon, please. We're begging. What if he's young? Okay, he's not. <laughs> Those three days really fucked them up. It's the end of Metal Gear Solid 3. is old, yeah. <gasps> Otacon! What the hell? They made him into a Chad. Otacon. Even the dead have ears. Snake, we've got to go. <laughs> it's like, you're crazy, old man. You've got an old friend waiting for you. There's no way. Okay, so Snake, like, I hyper ages Otacon. maybe because he's a clown. Proteome analysis was positive, but the mRNA analysis turned up negative. Mm -hmm. Wrinkled skin, the hardened arteries. Your early aging symptoms look like classic Werner's syndrome. Here we go. But none of the tests were able to pinpoint the cause. So. Doesn't he look like a Chad? Look at the outfit. Damn. I diagnosed with you old, basically. Snake. Let's try another doctor. It won't make any difference. I'm not an ordinary man to begin with. Not to mention Fox die. Right. You're right. But we don't know where Naomi is. We're still looking for her. in case you forgot who Naomi was. Ah, uh, Snake. Colonel. Colonel? Aw, the real one though, not AI Colonel. Well, I'm not a Colonel anymore, Snake. Aw. I figured the only place I'd see you dressed <laughs> like that would be at your daughter's wedding. What are you doing these days? I'm working for an organization under the UN Security Council. We the love analysis him. and assessment staff of the PMC Oversight and Inspection Committee. 
Yeah, I remember the resolution being passed a few years ago. Snake, I uh, came across some information in my work. Huh? We found him. In the Middle East. What? Ooh. Yeah, he's retired. Otacon went from, do you believe love battlefield? To I'll wreck me, you Chad, right? We've got to stop him. Now. Before it's too late. Like, the liquid... Ocelot? Okay, yeah. <laughs> we found him. He's preparing to unleash his insurrection. Liquid is lying in wait in a Middle Eastern war zone. Well, that explains why we were there. Track him down. Damn, that's crazy. What a interesting choice of like plot to be like, yeah, we're gonna make it that he is like rapidly aging and he's basically gonna die. Interesting choice for sure. He was funny. I I love AI Colonel. He was hilarious. Colonel, please tell us more about that skateboarding purple stuff worm. Like, the, right? That's what we care about. I wish he was real. Bro, what is going on in the Middle East War Zone TM that they got metal cows, right? Like, I'm sure they're going to go over it, but there was just like Metal Gear Solid 2 left off at such a things are happening point that it's like, I hope they cover like what happened right after that because it's like, Things were happening, and Liquid is not really <laughs> Liquid. He's the arm possessing Ocelot. So then it's like, okay, is are they in agreement now, or has he gone rogue, or like was this Ocelot's plan to begin with? Like so many questions there. So interesting. Attica no longer cares if he used the ketchup. I mean, he doesn't. He's moved on. Seems like it. Oh no, he's hot. See, <laughs> got a gun. I'm just for I me mean, when he stepped out. Like, come on. His face looks different to me. I don't know. The vibes. Uh, only two eggs today? Hmm? Holidays must have taken the day off. Hmm? It's no friend of mine. 789259036. Write this down. Write this down. Write it down. Kojima's gonna want me to remember that, guys, okay? Did someone write it down? Uh, Act 1, Liquid Sun. It's probably a play on words because the sun is bright in the Middle East, potentially. And Liquid is the sun, one of the suns. I think it's a play. Eric and Janet, you're uncomfy? Oh no, why? <laughs> so the numbers? Damn, turn that ringer down. This is Snake. Do you read me? What's the situation? I'm just inside the city. Don't look at us like that. This place is crawling with lizards. Ah. AT Corps' unmanned bipedal weapons, officially designated Irving by the U.S. military. They've spread like wildfire among the PMCs. There are more of those things now in service than tanks. They've got tough armor plating and are highly agile to boot. Your best bet is to stay out of their sights. Yikes. Unmanned. Pretty soon they'll have put living, breathing soldiers out of work. Even so, that's an awful lot of gecko for this scenario. Their numbers exceed the war price for that region. It must have something to do with Liquid's arrival on the scene. He's just so you impactful. You really think he's here? You'll have to find the army's operatives and ask them yourself. Oh, and Snake, I went ahead and used the Mark II to scout out the area before your arrival. You'll find it up ahead. Thank you, Mark II. It's a remote mobile terminal. Sunny and I built it. The Sunny. Mark II will provide you with a map of the area as well as any battle situation data. You should find it before you do anything else. Okay, got it. The rendezvous point is marked on your map. I'll be waiting for you there. 
Thank you, King. Love you. Hugs and kisses. Octo camo, an advanced camouflage suit inspired by the mimicry ability of the octopus. <laughs> Everyone always wants to be that. If the wearer lies still or doesn't move when pressed up against a wall, a suit can imitate the color and texture of wall and ground surfaces, fooling both the naked eye and infrared sensors. Interesting. So it's kind of building on the camo from three a little bit. So I assume the orange dot is the direction we want to go, but I don't know. <laughs> I guess this was it. Okay. Don't know if those are our friends or what. Otakun just showing off his new streaming setup. He really is. We treated him as the nice oddball childhood friend for too long, Pedro. He's getting cocky. Side is your enemy. There's no point whatsoever in you getting into a fight. Yo, Pedro bomb. I'm just kidding. It's Petro bomb, but it's funny. All right. Well, I guess everyone hates me. They're so paranoid. Too. Nothing to be paranoid about, fellas. Okay, maybe there is. <laughs> we keep seeing praying mantis everywhere. I am curious. Let's see what that could be. You know, got any uh, snacks or something? No. Wait. He did. Arsenal comp compress, medicinal, medicinal white can I not speak, compress, effective against muscle aches, sore joints, and bruises, restore psyche when used, open item window, and press okay, use. Okay, cool. Bro, get out of here, it's not safe. They see you in the windows, you know what I mean? Snake, it's gonna be tougher to break through. It might be best to avoid that area altogether if you can. Okay. Thank you, Otacon, love you. So maybe there's a way we can... Oh, okay, if we crawl through here, actually. Look at him! What is that sound? Okay, so Praying Mantis is definitely sussy, for sure. Interesting. I'm gonna just try and stay over here, I guess. Okay, I wonder if we can... Lots of building. I really don't want to go over there. Might be able to open these lockers. <laughs> That's funny. What is that? Regain. Tasty beverage with rejuvenating properties. Why is it trademarked? Restores life and psyche when consumed. Open the item window and press the OK button to use. Okay. Fuck, are you kidding me? This is HQ. No, you didn't. There we go. Okay, so you do have to press triangle for that. Interesting. okay he's just 30 percent stressed where's he 
hiding. Not here. No. You may leave now. These guys need to get over it. Yeah, sir, please leave. You know, your vibes are off, okay? They couldn't see you, but a helicopter from 100 feet away could see you down the wall. <laughs> What are we supposed to know about a helicopter? Alright. Cool. This is a Japanese video game. Snake's probably 35. Well, he actually kind of is because the premise here is that he's rapidly aged into an old man. And they don't fully understand why. So, that actually is accurate. I'm kind of scared to go back there, but I mean, we definitely should not be going over there. You ask me. How can a helicopter see me from here? There's a roof on this building. It's crazy. It must have seen me maybe through here. It's hard without a map. I'm unsure the best way to pass through here. Like, genuinely. No. What's going on is that you're lame. Where are the stairs? Oh, there's the stairs. Never mind, Otacon. I'm just crazy. Here's a classic Chad. It's crazy. Otacon has had so many different looks. Don't scare me like that. Look at them. Little flirty relationship, that's cute. Okay. I don't even know if we should go up the stairs. Some would say you shouldn't, but Otacon is giving me the vibes that I should. Okay, so we have to remember to keep updating our camo. I think that's like another issue, but you know how it is, just figuring it out. I love that he gets back pain from crouching because he's old. Yeah, like how can he even do this stuff? Seems like too much for the old guy. Not know this guy was gonna come in here. I don't know why I even came over here. There's no way out. Maybe the holes is what we're going for. Does he come over here? Can he not? You going for a no kill run? Um, not necessarily. I just try not to kill people. Yeah, I usually try not to kill them unless it's just like whatever. I just want to kill them. <laughs> so no, I don't really like, you know, there's no rules, but I try. <laughs> I have good morals. I mean, it's just like, it feels like maybe more of what, how you're supposed to do things. So I'm trying to be good for five seconds at least. Oh God, is this right where we came from? Oh, I think it might be. I can never get out of this hellscape. I'm literally losing my mind. Otacon, I'm lost and scared. Huh? What the? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so that guy's there. Where is he? There's much to think about. Too much. Oh, okay, it's all connected. So, 
going up the stairs didn't really help. In my opinion. Good hiding spot for future reference. But like, I don't want to be going out over here. Otacon said that's a bad idea. There has to be another spot. It must have been this way. So we'll try to like sneak past him, I guess, when he turns around, you know? Planning to get any other PS3 games or just this one? Well, I did. I have Dengeki Bubko Fighting Climax, which I like. Um, and I have the other Metal Gear Solid games on here too now. And I got Castlevania Lords of Shadow, the first one. So that's We'll try to go past him. I'm nervous because I just feel like he's... Did I notice? Did not? Okay, he didn't really notice. Cool. Okay. What's this? Got compress. Okay, we got some nice compresses. That's cool. It's definitely interesting. It seems like it built off a lot of elements from three for sure that I really liked. And I'm digging this new camo thing, so yeah. Hurry up before this guy comes and there's another guy and there's multiple guys. <laughs> there flies in the trash. Got the nice, oh shit, okay, fellas, please do not come here, please, I'm begging you, do not, do not, do not, do not come, please, no. <laughs> fellas, I thought you were going that way, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, Devil May Cry, I haven't played any Devil May Cry games yet, but I do want to check those out. These connected, I think so. Hm. Love that his name is Old Snake. Like, he doesn't even call himself Snake anymore. I know, right? <laughs> Doing him dirty with that. Huh. Creepy. Metal Gear Mark II. Metal Gear. That's right. Just like Rex. <laughs> Just like him. Not a weapon. It's a remote mobile terminal designed to provide you with operational support. Where are you? I'm in the Nomad. Where else? Snake's a boomer. I'll be watching you for really, Mark Snake. Two. I was good with gadgets. Hey, I'll be with you, <laughs> spirit. Anyway, because you had to dress up as a militiaman, I had the Mark II bring you some goodies. Starting with this. Put it on your left eye. Looks like an eye patch. I call it the solid eye. It's an all-purpose goggle that displays radar images and other data in 3D. Wow. You can also switch it over to light amplifying night vision. They're really gonna do this, huh? <laughs> the rebels are out there. It looks like they've got the government's PMC troops beat, at least in numbers. And this is their own turf. Snake, I know this is a sneaking mission, but you'll need to protect yourself. No. 
<laughs> what is that? Is that a tranquilizer gun? An operator. I installed a suppressor. And here's a tranquilizer gun. Aw, thank you, Otacon. You get me. Oh, how thoughtful. It is. It predates the implementation of the system. By some miracle, it was never recycled. <laughs> getting tough these days, finding decent guns that aren't controlled. Damn. A lot of guns are getting illegal guns. Paul Benson sucks. Good to see you. Thank you so much for the fart and blonde condo. You coming? Of course. I'll follow you wherever you go. Aww. Like this. I'll activate stealth so it doesn't attract any attention. Little buddy. If you need it, just bring up the start button menu. Cool. Got it. Snake, the informants who said they saw a liquid here should be a little further up. Head for the rendezvous point. I've placed a mark on the radar in the upper right corner of the solid eye. It's a war zone out there. Stay on your toes. Okay, cool. Nice. I feel like I'm getting a grasp on, on how to do this. MK2 or Mark II pistol, 22 caliber silence pistol, fires anesthetic rounds, ready the gun with L1, fire with R1. Did I say L1? Yeah, fire with R1, press triangle while aiming to use a grip mounted laser sight. Okay. Lots of buttons. We love the companionship, honestly. It gets lonely out here on the battlefield. We need some love. Okay, we got our operator, which is a real gun. Okay. Solid eye, an all-purpose goggle that combines the functions of several optical devices and supplies the wearer with a variety of tactical data. The organization to which a soldier or attack vehicle belongs is displayed in colored text. Blue text represents an ally. A color closer to red represents a hostile target. Okay. Interesting. That's good to know. That's pretty cool. Yeah, see, when I saw the cover of this game, it confused me because he has an eye patch on. I was like, um, so like naked snake, you know? But then I knew, obviously, you know, this, this is not what it's supposed to be. So I was curious as to how that was going to come about. Metal Gear Mark II, a remote mobile terminal that follows snake around providing mobile mission support. Equip it from the item menu to enable manual control. Useful for sending the gadget in Snake's place. Interesting, so you can control the little robot, I guess. Seems Snake, like what they're saying. It's kind of a schlep, but I've sent you data on an alternate route. Follow the mark on your radar. Okay, let's look at the map, see if we can get a better idea of what he's talking about. We can't. Okay, cool. So it's behind us, so I guess we gotta go that way, though, so, now. Okay, so we've got to go this way now. Can you guys chill over there, please? They're not seeming very chill. Is there a way this way? There doesn't seem to be. Calm down. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, Otacon. Why'd you send me this way? They're like going crazy over here. Otacon is crazy. He sent me into a war zone, literally. This is probably impolite, but I'm gonna say his butt crack looks way longer than it should be. Well, I think that's because he has something up his ass, maybe. <laughs> Just a guess. There's a lot of ass in this game, for sure. The real question is, how the frick are we gonna make it? I feel like we're supposed to cross back here, so we're not like, you know, all in their midst. They need to tone down this game. I feel like we've been over here. Camouflage, please, sir, now. So. Yes. 
trying to aim, okay? Is he not getting hit? Okay, there we go. Thank you. Perfect. Let's go. We're venting. Know if we're venting the right way, if I took a wrong turn, it's getting kind of dark in here. There's a weapon down there, okay. A dead guy, I guess. They have just about everything occurring right now. Okay, we're almost there. Just gotta get through here. Russian made anti tank rocket propelled grenade launcher. Ready it with L1, fire with R1. Cool. Bro, do not get up. This was. Genuine. Should be like right here. But maybe we should put these guys out just in case. Militia safe house. Okay, interesting. Nice. Cool. It's pretty dark in there. Switch the solid eye to night vision mode. Okay. He's testing me. He wants to know if I know. Oh, this is scary, Otacon. I don't like night vision mode. <laughs> Otacon, petition to not be in night vision mode is too scary. Bro, like I can barely see. Yeah, there's a ration over there. He's so extra. Jeez, this place is like falling apart. Nice. It's like I'm being a good person and listening to Otacon, but do I want to? You know I mean? Could we? <laughs> Snake has a lot to say. He's grumbling. Cool, we can see. <laughs> he kind of just forgot about me, though. Maybe he died. Rest in peace, King. We loved you. <sighs> it was a false alarm. Don't worry, guys. They're over it. He's not even that stressed. He's like unbothered king. They took too long to get their people together. If anything, we got them out of the way. I know this is a risky decision. Whoa, there's chickens everywhere. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Instant noodles, steaming hot cup of instant noodles. Simply add boiling water, let stand and enjoy. Huh, they got killed anyway. That's pretty nice being in a war zone is the nice thing like people who notice you Potentially they might just get murdered. So then it's like oops. Guess you didn't guess you just died We need to stop objectifying Otacon and start listening. <laughs> yeah, apparently <laughs> Apparently that's the problem 
Okay, we got a battle rifle. These will be nice if we ever do want to murder people. I don't know if we needed to do that. They're kind of like dying, you know, just in case. <laughs> we like to be thorough. It's pretty funny because I think they were kept talking to each other after I knocked him out, which is pretty funny. At least I think they did. I don't know if these guys are noticing. I'm so bad at the pressure sensitivity, like from getting up the crawling, that kind of thing. Maybe I did them a favor, to be honest. Maybe I'm nice for for shooting him with the tranquilizer. I think that was a good deed. That was nice of me. Had myself on the back for that. Damn, his ass is squeezed. Look how squeezed it is. Chonked up back there. Now we got people who are chilling. I guess that's just how it is in war. The Mark II is more than just a communications terminal. It's got a lot of other I'll let him finish, well. yeah. Try taking it for a spin. See for yourself what it can do. Interesting. Let's so we'll wait on him. Hopefully we won't get caught. Aw, little rat. How cute. Poor rats. Not fair they have to go through this. I guess let's go grab that real quick. Some sort of special unit. Played with unknown gear. Are you gonna force me to fight some flying thing? Now they appear capable of working together or acting independently. Hey, my guess is that they're building an aerial surveillance network. Hey you, come with me. What? What's going on? What's going on? Bad on top. We need more bodies. Serious? Okay, let's go. Interesting. Y'all got plenty of bodies back here. Grenade. Nice. We got a frag grenade. Ready a grenade with L1. Throw it with R1. Okay. Seems normal. It's like the last one. They catch wind of me. White phosphorus grenade. Grenade with powerful incendiary effect. Fire. Oh, maybe that's the guy I put to sleep. I think it's the guy I put to sleep. I mean, th those guys walked over there. Hard to say. Become the floor. Or maybe it was just someone behind him. I 
hard to say. <laughs> okay, guys came from over there. We're trying to go over here, so I guess we should do that. Maybe we should look this way. Okay, so the enemies seem to have a lot of good stuff, apparently. Okay, let's not go ass first. There just might be some good stuff in here, you know? So. Yes. Okay, there's a guy who can unlock guns for you. I don't know, maybe that's something we'll be able to use. I don't know how to open these lockers without making them, like, crash. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Playboy! Sojima, what do we need this for? I would love to know. Grab the magazine in your hands with L1. Carefully plant it using R1 button. To view it, continue to... What do you mean, plant it? Continue to hold L1 and R1 and then press the circle button. Got my interest. Okay, so we gotta start adding this shit to our thing real quick. It's under weapons! <laughs> it's under weapons right now? What the hell? <laughs> okay, so are we gonna use this as a distraction? Okay. Middle Eastern Militia Disguise. Clothes for a disguising snake is a local Middle Eastern militia man. You can put them on by selecting change costume under camouflage on the menu screen. That's it. Oh, here we go. I see. Thank you. Thank you. Sick. Okay, so hopefully they'll love and accept. Can you look at this little? Does this guy think we're biffles or... He does. Sick, it worked. Okay, so we're getting close to the objective, I think. But let me check my map real quick. Okay, I mean, yeah, we'll go out this door and then we'll be close in a way. They stole my friends. It's hard to keep track. Okay, so we want to go... Yeah, we want to go right out of this. Cool. He's okay. Not much goes on in his life. Of course it's me. Who else could it possibly be? Okay, nice. Got more of that. Alright, urban ruins time. Let's go. Tsukasa does not give a fuck about Snake. Is it true, not Tsukasa? I don't care about old Snake here. I have you. Yogi? Looks weird. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Pretty sweet, huh? <laughs> oh, hold it. Watch where you're pointing that thing. Oh, okay. I legit thought the monkey was talking for a second. I'm like, what Who the hell? You? Neither enemy. Cool nor hair. Man. Magician. Voila. You're not with the militia, and you're not PMC. I'm a weapons wholesaler. All shapes. Oh, all he's sizes. the dude. But there's no need to worry, because all my shit's been laundered. Laundered. You see, I 
take ID guns like the PMCs use and make some models. <laughs> What's wrong with this monkey? <laughs> Without having to match IDs. In other words, I'm a gun launderer. Sick. You can call me Drebin. Drebin. Yeah, they use that for all of us. There are more of you. All over the world. Not that I ever met any of them personally. Me, I'm Drebin number 893. Interesting. Why wouldn't he know about him? You ain't a registered PMC employee, are you? Of course I am. You need a guy like me. Consider to welcome you. <laughs> Take it. Just giving out guns. The official carbine model used by the U.S. Army, developed from the M16 service rifle. This one's a top of the line model, real popular with the big PMCs. High precision, not like that government issue shit. It's a uh, free floating, of course. Relax, that barrel's clean. <laughs> Is the Hyder CQC compatible? Really, the suckers that has got a lot of customizable parts. Change it up the way you want to meet your everyday needs. Flip up sight, rail system. Not bad. Yeah, well, you know, I get a lot of noobs around here. And if you need them, I got a wide selection of aftermarket parts as well. Okay. The frame's pretty rigid. No rattle. Go ahead. Give her a squeeze. Hmm. Trigger. Really? That's weird. He's too old and weak. Wait, I got it. I bet you're using an older generation of nano machines. Older generation? Sometimes they don't really jive with the new system. Seriously, who are <laughs> you? <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> My day job's working at AT Security. Ours tag. I'm in charge of production control so I get my hands on all the ID chips before they even register have a sip no <laughs> it's a side of AT the public don't see from the looks of it you ain't with any state army but you ain't exactly green neither he gets You've us got last gen nano machines so I'm guessing former US Army <laughs> I don't know what you're here for but you want to be well equipped am I right so can we talk business or what you won't <laughs> it's almost like this guy's been rehearsing this before we even showed up you know <laughs> He was way too had this together. What's your take on Amatica? <laughs> He's just gonna call him right in front of like him. Guy, but it looks like we'll need his help with those ID guns. Sonny's been doing Who's a little Sonny? for us. Drebin, a well-known gun launderer in war economy circles. Hold He's on, let me call my wife. He's mainly in selling black market firearms to small PMCs and local militia. Somalia, the Balkans, Lebanon, Darfur, Chechnya, Timor. Peru, the Punjab, Kashmir, Colombia. This guy really gets around. How's he pull it off anyway? <laughs> you can create a non-ID gun by replacing the ID recognition chip with a counterfeit version. This enables you to bypass the ID recognition process and use the gun. Sick. The problem is that there's still a record of the chip being replaced on the system side. Drebin's an employee of AT Security. He must have connections on the inside erasing records for him. It all makes sense. The Patriots are involved somehow. Yes. I'm not so sure. If the Patriots were running the system from behind the scenes, then a weasel like Drebin would be a real pain in their collective ass. Mm. Can he be trusted? Remember, Drebin's a green collar. He makes his living off the war economy. He doesn't let emotions get in the way of business, and he never gets his own hands dirty. The only thing he trusts is money. I share your concern, but what if we keep him at arm's length? 
Use him only to get into the supplies hearing this. we need. Keep it strictly business. I know he has an All right. But it's funny <laughs> for him to just do this right in the middle of this conversation. So, we ready to make a deal or what? <laughs> okay then. Let's talk business. This is a war zone. There's product coming in here by the truckload. And you'll be picking up a lot of guns in the field, I'm sure. Whatever guns you don't need, I'll take and buy them off you. That'll earn you points you can cash in for service. Like what? I'll launder your ID guns. No more locks. Hey. And I can also sell you the guns I've got in stock. Okay. Let me show you. Guy's quite the salesman. He's got this whole pitch just lined up. Is that a real soda brand? Narc? <laughs> Interesting. To ensure you can use non-ID guns, I'm gonna have to suppress the old nano machines you got in you. Otherwise, they'll interfere with the system. Not my old nano machines. Here, stick yourself with this. Huh? It's full of suppressor nano machines. Relax, it won't hurt. You just let a random guy inject you. Ooh. Hey, called Midnight. <laughs> Pretty cool so far. No sweat. Now you can use non ID guns, no problem. Hey, poor monkey. Be nice to our guest. <laughs> Step outside. I would not let someone just inject me with something in my neck. Wow, a snake. Really? He's gonna be mean to the monkey? That was a cheap shot. Hey, Wild Pikachu. I know, right? No problem. That's rude. From now on, when you pick up an ID gun that says lock, you just let me know. Cool. We already you did. You name it, I can launder it. Of course, it'll cost you. The going rate depends on the war price at the time. Man, I gotta give this shit a rest. <laughs> Looks like you're doing pretty well for yourself. You might say that. What with the war economy and all, and the system clamping down on things. System codes are the law now, and control's essentially absolute, paving the way for fat profits if. Okay. You're willing to bend the law. I have some theories already. The man keeps on growing thanks to the war economy. I sell ID guns to the PMCs and state armies, and naked guns to terrorist groups and paramilitaries. And these ID guns can't be sold on the black market. System's practically a license for us arms dealers to print money. Privatizing the military has made the PMCs big and bloated. The fatter the PMCs get, the line between civilian and soldier is gonna get real blurry. Facts. Sooner or later, the whole damn human race is gonna be green collars. <laughs> More like we're all gonna be fighting proxy wars. But hey, this war economy puts the food on my table. You're a green collar too, aren't you? Yeah, it's in your eyes. You've seen a lot of combat. What makes <laughs> you think you know me? Nothing to be ashamed of. I'm the same way. I grew up here too. I got no interest in the outside world. Hell yeah. All right then. <laughs> if you need me, holla. We specialize in speedy service. Catch my drift. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
Why is the monkey naked? I have you. Interesting. He's just gonna leave now. He was so prepared. Like, it's like he knew we were gonna show up here. That was such a pitch. We still have weapons to show him. That scene is still going. <laughs> Unless that was quite a chonker, but I already have some theories because they brought up the Patriots, which I was really happy to hear because um, I think the Patriots might still be in control of what's going on here because this company, this like praying mantis company clearly seems to be like getting really authoritarian, basically like in charge of everything. And I don't know where Liquid fits in if that was the case, because then it's like, what is he trying to do? But I feel like it might be going down that path, would be my guess. He learned nothing from Fox Die at <laughs> Moses. I was thinking that too, Devin. I'm like, isn't he scared of like Fox Die flashbacks, you know? I'm sorry, Snake. I can't give credit. Yes? I know what you're thinking. But Drebin does have a point. Do you, Otacon? Because it depends on war, <laughs> on the war economy. Can you imagine what would happen if war just disappeared overnight? Otacon, you Do and you? both mentioned something about a war price earlier. What did you mean by that? It's a kind of market price, one that fluctuates according to demand, not only for PMCs and military industry, but for the production, distribution, and energy supply networks that support. Hmm. <laughs> It's been growing by leaps and bounds, and investors are really starting to take notice. As the fighting in any given area becomes increasingly intense and prolonged, the war price goes up. No doubt Drebin's rates are linked to that war price. Mm -hmm. The longer and bloodier a battle becomes, the higher service prices are going to get. To put it another way, the quieter things are, the better the bargains. Snake, we'll use the Mark II to deal with Drebin from here on out. He's what you might call a street vendor. The Mark II can act as a kind of delivery <laughs> and connect you with him. I'm adding a Drebin hey. menu item to the Mark II's weapon. <laughs> Whenever you pick up multiple units of the same weapon, any extras will automatically be sold to Drebin. Cool. Any ammo that's inside gets added to your cache. In other words, you keep the ammo, and the weapon itself gets traded to Drebin for points. I see. You can then use the points you've earned to unlock ID guns or buy new weapons. Sounds good. We should assume Dremen has other agents collecting guns for him besides you, Snake. You know, freelance green collars who collect weapons in exchange for services? Mm -hmm. Guess I'll have to rely on him for now. Okay. Now go meet up with our informants. Rat Patrol. Rat Patrol is their name? Okay, we got M4 Custom. Cool gun. Uh, let's check Snake. the map. Oh my god, I'm so sorry to cut you off. I cut him off. I'm gonna cry. Head into Drebin shop for ammo, custom parts, and ID free weapons. Can you please talk to me again, Otacon, please, and beg me. No! He probably was telling me everything I need to know. I'm gonna cry. I did not want to cut him off at all. Uh, don't forget to call me Snake if you're gonna be late for supper. <laughs> The silent treatment, I know. He's mad. We hung up on him, basically. The walls could come down any second. Oh my god. And they probably will. Okay, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Oh, oh, the hole. Oh god. Can we jump up on this? Snake, you need jump button. There we go. Thank you. Thank you for installing jump button as soon as I said we need it. Ooh. Are you talking about me? Hey, old buddy, old pals. 
Are you guys on my team or? <laughs> oh, we hate to be on this team, I guess. <laughs> uh oh. It is just like one of my Japanese animes. Alright, we got another compress. I don't even use We jump out. It appears no. And I kind of doubt we'll be able to jump out the other side. How does this help? We got more weapons. Can we climb up here? I mean, this is the move. God, scary the crap out of me. <laughs> Looks like we could go this way. Thanks for the free stuff. Wearing headphones so immersive during this battle. During this battle? I guess if you're one of the dudes. <laughs> I don't want to be a part of the battle. We're trying to keep it that way. Stand up. No. Thank you. Oh. Okay. okay. He's losing some stamina from this. Nice. Okay. Uh, I guess let's jump down here. Okay, so we could go down there. It doesn't really seem like there's anything. So I guess we'll go in the hole. When I do the correct thing, Snoop, what do we do? We've been doing good since we first did bad. There's no need to hide, he's my bestie. Who's who's there? Go, go away! I'm not done yet! <laughs> Bruh. Why could you just stop? Why have we have to oh, see this? Man taking a Bruh, he's pit. Right there. No. Get back here. Aren't you all on the same team? He's not allowed to use the bathroom? I used to go in. Oh my god, you're not gonna go in there, Snake, are you? He just took a shit in there. Why are you interested? He's like, yeah, that guy took a shit in here. I'd like to do that too. Drum. A battered, rusty old oil drum. Equip it to hide inside. While equipped, press the X button to fall to the side and roll around in the drum. Bro, a man just took a shit in this and you want to roll around in it? Like, how is this your instinct, you know? Very bizarre behavior, I've got to say. Okay, Snake. Hurry to the rendezvous point. Your radar is marked with which way to go. This way, I don't know if these guys are going to be besties with me still, so like I'm kind of unsure if we should stick with this. I think we should save because we haven't saved yet tonight, so I don't know like how this works, but we haven't saved, so. You think Snake likes being what, told what to do by Otacon? I think he does, yeah. And I think Otacon likes telling him what to do too.
Are we still besties? Or I just want you guys to kill someone who was taking a shit. So that guy got killed for taking a shit. What would I? What happened to me? me? No thanks, sir. Can you crawl in these holes? I can't tell if it's covered or not. If it's just really dark. Okay, it is covered. Can we climb up this? Sick, let's go. Sniper time. He done to me. There is a lot happening. Grab some of this. Wait, actually. Oh shit. Probably just no, actually, because we are blocked. Huh. Interesting. Okay, well, from this vantage point, we can put this guy out. is okay, so I thought they might come over, but I'm not seeing anyone. Flip back over. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so bad at trying to get him to move. I'm just so bad with the pressure sensitivity stuff. This is good. How the hell are we gonna get up there? That's clearly not gonna happen. Where the heck are we supposed to go then? Interesting. Is there a turn? I don't see how we'd be getting through there. So clearly there must be something else. Oh, can we crawl under here? Okay, cool. Never mind. Whew, I thought it was completely blocked off. Snake, roll over, good boy, right? Just making a dirt angel? Yeah, he's just chilling. They don't even notice us. <laughs> okay, cool, we found that. I'm liking this so far. It's interesting navigating this environment while this is all occurring. So there's all these praying mantis posters everywhere. A sense of duty when the risks run hot. So I don't know, it just feels like very much so I think we might be able to get through there. Like, like they're monetizing the war, which you know is something that happens in real life, crazy enough. And it's almost become a problem because the like monetary aspect of it has gotten so out of control that at this point it's like, yeah, it's controlling everything. Which is an interesting premise, and it does feel like if the Patriots are coming into play here, then it is building off of stuff that they already set up for in um, Metal Gear Solid 2. Because, I mean, the Patriots should still be at work unless we stop them between the games. I do want to go grab that. Fellas. Nice, we got a petrol bomb. Watch out. That area is covered by PMC snipers. Boy, this is Wait, the area that I just came from? You could find a route that takes you behind them. Avoid them all together. Okay, so obviously we can. So let's go the alley route then. <sighs> I did not want to fully stand up. It's so annoying. How do they? They still see me? Okay, no. 
It's so annoying trying to just like go back into crawl and then I press it too much and he really stands up. It's like, oof. That happened to me all the time in, uh, in two and three, I believe. The enemy, the Patriots. Okay, so. Otacon, sweetie. I don't know if this is going around it per se. But. Maybe? I don't see snipers as much on this side as I did. Oh, you know what? Turn that thing around. Back that thing up right now. <laughs> yeah, perfect, perfect. If only he wasn't so damn rugged and sexy. God such a problem we're trying so hard not to be so sexy but it's it's too difficult there might be something in there whatever hmm. not something once we got it Interesting. let's try going up these stairs Definitely feels like someone's up here. Well, we're getting free stuff, so either way, right? We love free stuff. Getting some grenades. He has butt goals. I mean, especially for an old man. I've never been an old man, but I'm just gonna assume that it makes it more difficult to have a nice, firm, plump ass. About me. I'll put the heat on him from below. I thought their thing had to trigger first, you know, and then he would go down. Maybe he already did. Phew. He never skipped leg day, getting old was no excuse. Apparently not. You see what I mean? Yeah, he's he's pretty caked up. <laughs> yeah, I guess they're gone. I don't know what else to think. We were getting a little stuck on that edge there. What do we got? Why did I do this? <laughs> Why am I here? I guess we just came here for a loot. I don't know. Laser sight. A custom part for any long firearm makes it easier to aim in over the shoulder view. Do that. We so desire. PSS, silent pistol used for special operations. Ready it with L1 button, fire with R1. Interesting. Special operations. Where would that go? Please let me jump out the window, I'm begging. Probably not gonna let me jump out the window. Okay. We're gonna go down. Oh, that's it. I mean, I don't know what else to make of it. Kind of wasn't anything else here. He's vibing. He loves the floor. Scooby dooby doo. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. He does love the floor. These guys are. Love me. But luckily they're getting murdered, so. Let's look at our map. Okay, so the snipers are over there, so. Might be a good time to try to go in this way now. There's snipers over here or not, let's see. I just want to say, 
I don't know if anyone else is hearing this, but there's this sound that keeps happening that's like, Boing! and it sounds just like the beginning of Sammy Classic Sonic Fan, when will you learn your actions have consequences? And so I keep thinking someone is doing that because it sounds just like it. It's just like, Boing! it just sounds exactly like the when will you learn. That was it. That was it. Does anyone agree? Come on, guys. Come on. Oops. <laughs> it sounds just like it. I don't know. It keeps throwing me off. Dude, do not get up. We're trying to get all the free shit right now. I am cool with that. Dude, stop. Ugh, bra moment. Okay. Well, he's better at this than I am. Say, who the hell is even shooting at me? They're crazy. I don't remember Sammy firing bullets at the camera only back. Do you guys hear it? Okay. With the Sammy Easter egg, right? Ahead of his time again, you know? I guess like five years. I think it was like 2013. Bro, I swear to God, if you stand up one more time. Get hit by a random bullet around here. We're making progress. I believe. If Nomura was dating a Tifa level baddie, sign me up for the Nomura Lovers crew. I know what happened. Like, probably spending too much time making a video game or something. Why did they break up? We need answers. Y'all ever cry? Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> you gonna leave too? We love that. This is fine. Wow. No worries at all. We're good. We're just... I'm gonna have to go. Sorry, sweetie. I'm, I'll be spotted because I don't want to be involved in... <laughs> Thank God it was right there. Okay, so if I was here, where would I be? Cool place. Y'all got me a thank you. And a little AK. Um, we can do tricks on the couches. No, we can't. Okay, so that was a trap. <laughs> I thought it was something cool. They got me, I'm not gonna lie. Let's just go up the stairs, it's too scary down here. Oh, that's a trap too. Mm. Look, I'm learning. Okay, this has a... Really?
Okay. Then I guess let's try to look the other way. Oh, can we just leave? Ew, is there flies on him? They act fast. What gun am I using? Well, I just put the operator on real quick there. But now I'm thinking I've been using the, the uh, tranquilizer. But now I'm thinking that maybe I should just use a grenade there. There's another compress. You don't take people's BS to qualify badass trait. Okay, I'll take it. Yeah. I just have a... I'm not good at tolerating <laughs> people being annoying, I guess. Um, so there's nothing that way. For now. So this is a dead end, unless... Let me just check real quick. Okay, no. So, I mean, this side isn't really having much to offer, so we might want to try the grenade strat, to be honest. And there's that door. I swear downtown is where I just was, though. So that's why I'm kind of like... That's... I doubt that's the next area, because we entered that door, so... I doubt it could really be anything new. Okay, so that didn't work. I mean, come on, <laughs> right? What the hell? Like, come on, there's fire right there. Okay, so I am about to break out the Playboy. I think, okay, here's an, I really don't get why they, maybe we're just not close enough. Fine, fine. I'll try shooting it right here, but I feel like we're gonna get in the explosion. Maybe not. I just think this is a bad idea. Just stand up. No, just stand up. I don't like this, but we'll try. Um, that was about TK. I'm like, I thought there's too many butts. I don't know who we're talking about, okay? There's too many people with booty in here. Okay, finally it worked. Yay, rejoice. I had a correct thought for once. Being loud as hell. Okay, so now we're on the other side of this whole section. It doesn't seem like anyone's in here. <laughs> okay, listen, listen, listen. Okay, I'm basically a mouse, and there's a mouse trap, and there's the cheese right there. I don't see the other pieces of the puzzle, okay? I just see, ooh, like, item. And I gotta say, those bombs look a little like an item. So I just thought it was two items. <laughs> so that is, we need to get rid of this. Don't worry guys, I'll do it this time. It's hard to aim for some of us. You know, I didn't think we <laughs> It's hard to gauge how big the blast radius is, okay? He's just taking a little nap. Oh, about the pixel remasters, really? I didn't know they changed like difficulty or anything. Square doesn't seem to think so. They want to put them on console. Yeah, they're like, ah, we're gonna do this, but no one wants them, right? You guys didn't want to play it, did you? Just out of curiosity, do the pixel remasters run on Mac? Because I know a lot of games that you know are are like on Steam like that won't. And I feel like if it doesn't even run on Mac, then that's kind of, that's even worse. You know, I guess most people probably don't game on them anyway, but I think people do. I feel like they could run it too. Okay, we're in the bathroom. Chilling. Ooh, what happened here? Looking like the Silent Hill 2 toilets, you know? Anything outwardly suspicious? Yeah, they don't look as bad as the Silent Hill 2 toilets. I'll give them that. They got lasers. Snake, 
I'm detecting a trap. Well, you'd be right, Otacon. It's a bomb that uses an infrared sensor as a detonation trigger. It's a remote control device, and I'm detecting slight traces of volatile sleep gas. Trigger it, and you'll be knocked out. So be careful. He's not going to tell us how to stop. Interesting. Is that it over there? I think that's too crazy of us to just assume that. Yeah, but maybe we have to. Everything's kind of boarded up. Hmm. I mean, we could just crawl into that hole down there. I don't know if we I'm want. I'm picking up a faint radio signal from that thing. I'm guessing it might be transmitting its operating status in real time. I'd leave those sensors alone if I were you. Okay. I don't know if we're too thick to pass that, but it seems like he's telling me not to even bother with it right now. Um, I like the bathroom. It feels nice in here. They would never betray me. By they, I mean the toilets. Okay, so let's just see if we can get to the other side of that. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. I feel like we'd need to go that way. So maybe there is something to shoot. Maybe we should use the or something but it just seems weird that Otacon wouldn't would not suggest that so then I'm like I don't know what does he want oh maybe we just no because these are the bathrooms Otacon please just ignore those infrared sensors find a way around them so like yeah, I don't think we're gonna make that Okay, so this is not the way to go. I really didn't see any other way. Oh, maybe this way? Never mind, Otacon, love you. You know every- <laughs> Otacon. <laughs> Listen, they need to make the bombs more flamey so that it looks like a bomb. I'm gonna go back over there. Otacon, I thought I found a way, and now you're telling me this isn't the way. I'm about to go sick on mode. Oh my god, I thought he was actually talking to me. <laughs> Thank you for the 12 bits, I appreciate that. I'm trying to. Where did we come from? I guess it was over here. Yeah, it was. Kind of crazy, isn't it? How fixated you can get? Or is that just me? See, those ones have a nice small explosion. The other ones, okay. Not small. You gotta back it up for those ones. Alright. Anyone alive? Okay, that's definitely a bomb, no? Very discreet. See, the problem is, I don't know how to not be in the blast radius of this, so it's like. Can we please throw a grenade this time, for real? Yeah, I didn't know he was just gonna rogue throw it like that. Okay. Did it work? Bro, what in the- Come on, what is this shit? <laughs> He's trying to kill me, and I don't really care that much, but... You know... We'll come back to it. How does fire not burn things since when? Hey. Kitchen. Anything in here? And they're so gray, it's like hard to see. Ladle. of stoves. Not really see anything. You want to take the cookies out of the oven? Well, I see that. Okay. Plenty to do over here. More stairs. Interesting. Tough call, honestly. This place is big. Okay. A little bit of a bar situation. Interesting. 
Oh, we're actually really... The checkpoint's like over there. Or like what we're trying to get to. It's crazy. Okay, cool. I guess it's to the right slightly. We love rations. Oh yeah, dude. We're so close to it. What the heck? Where is it? Okay, so hopefully if we go up these stairs, everything will make sense. Anything we should know about? Seeing it. Um, okay. I don't know if we can shoot that from here, but we are approaching our goal. And it is another bar, so I guess there's that. I think we are just approaching our objective here. We get up there. Here we go. That's what I was trying to get him to do on the other side. Nice. We got that regain. Okay. This game is famous for having eight hours of cutscenes. <laughs> We've experienced maybe an hour of it so far. Drop your weapon. <gasps> oh my god. Drop your weapon. All right. Oh my god, don't. Is it him? Here. Or am I just being insane? <laughs> Easy now. Don't move. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. Careful, I'm no rookie. I'm a 10 year vet. <laughs> it has to be. How the hell did you ever survive 10 years? Don't move. CQC. Real big boss, huh? <laughs> Wait a second. Lower your weapon. Is that slowly now? I wouldn't try anything funny if I were you. Fox. What the hell? It's Meryl? That's what I thought, but I'm like, no way. Is that you? Okay, they yesified her. Just looking cute. What happened to your face? I'm old now. <laughs> Be sensitive about it. Back off. Accelerated aging. They don't know the cause. Hi, Carl. I'm doing okay. How are you? Meryl, you're my informant at the U.S. military. And you must be the inspector, Simple. Oh, okay, it was her. Huh. Please tell me it's riding on the floor. It's gotta be. Please. Akiba! No. Commander. Okay. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Come on. I this wanted to be him. Team Zero One. We're with the CID. One of the bodies investigating PMC activity. Okay. Oh, it's not right then. Now rats. Down. Here. You can have this back. <laughs> <laughs> what is your problem? You okay? Stomach pain? 
Uh, uh, Diarrhea. <laughs> I can barely see what they're trying to get us to flash back to. DARPA chief dying? <laughs> I got really excited because I thought I was riding and then Meryl comes out of nowhere. That's funny. It's been four days since the lady ghost that says, where are you, my beloved? And since then, this woman's been with us. Oh yeah, I think I, yeah, I think I remember that. She doesn't look like a combatant. Probably some kind of advisor, maybe a scientist. Interesting. You need to read in glasses now? I liked that like dinosaur boss with like the severed tail or something. So you're the That one's really cool. One unit. Why? Something wrong with that? Here I'll introduce you to the team. Tension between That's them. Ed, our radio man and sniper. The sleeping giant is Jonathan. <laughs> <clears throat> Bro, Don't they're really gonna mind. put the exclamation point on his head? His back. God, he loves jokes, doesn't he? They really did that. It's supposed to be an exclamation point for sure. Everybody <laughs> just calls him Akiba. Commander, I've finished installing the sensors. Show his face now. Okay, Akiba. Anyway. He's really gonna have bullet earrings. <laughs> Maybe it's because someone taught me well. A certain legendary hero who suddenly disappeared. You quit the unit. Me? Huh. I never gave up on you. Or on Foxhound. Back then, I just wanted you to accept me. I wanted you to turn around and see who I was. But I've put the past behind. I'm done playing little love games. We didn't text her back. It's basically the <laughs> synopsis. So, what are you here for? Threat assessment. The PMCs. Really? Because I heard a rumor there's an assassin out there targeting their leader. Well, that's some rumor. I'm only here because the UN wants me to assess the impact and effects of PMCs on their refugee protection efforts. That's all? More than enough for a retired vet like me. Mm -hmm. I know he's plotting an insurrection. But as long as AT security's system is in place, there's no way he'll succeed. How can you be so sure? They've implemented a system that monitors in real time every single soldier engaged in combat action, whether he's he is. army or PMC. Each individual soldier has been fully ID tagged with nano machines injected into their bodies for that purpose. Yeah, it does not. The nano machines great. <laughs> keep track of the soldiers and their real time personal data 24 hours a day. They monitor each man's position, movement speed, reserve ammo, firing accuracy, wounds, rations, water intake and supply, sweat secreted, heart rate, blood pressure and sugar levels, oxygen. All the data gathered on body condition, on sensory organ data showing pain and fear. Works. Data on every internal response within the body. All of it is collected by an AI at the system's core. This data is monitored at HQ to enable command to make quicker, more precise, more rational decisions. It also enables crisis management for each individual soldier. It's being used by the U.S. military, by state armies and allied countries, by PMCs. Even police agencies are starting to adopt it. Unless they agree to implement the system, PMCs aren't permitted to send troops anywhere. You've got these system nano mm. machines, you too. Of course. Our unit plays by the rules, Oof. same as everybody else. It was creepy at first. 
knowing you're being watched 24-7, but I've gotten used to it. It gives us a lot of advantages in the field, too. We get a clearer picture of what's going on around us, so there's less confusion during missions. And our nanomachines communicate with each other, making teamwork a lot smoother. And that's not all the system does for us. It's also a security guarantee against the PMCs. Security guarantee? That's right. The PMCs are combat groups without states or ideologies. They're not fighting out of nationalism or for a cause. They don't care why the war is being fought. They're just bodies fighting on someone else's behalf. They're mercenaries, a commodity. So it's easy to imagine them betraying their clients by joining the enemy or refusing to fight or committing humanitarian atrocities. Of course. To keep these things in check, they ensured that no one can use firearms or military vehicles without the proper system ID. It's true for every piece of equipment out there. So even if the PMCs tried to mount a terrorist attack or coup d'etat, their weapons and equipment would automatically be locked out. They wouldn't be able to move, attack, or engage in combat of any kind. And there's more. All the data on their position, personnel, and combat strength is leaked to us by the nanomachines. Mm. Even if they manage to circumvent the system by getting the nanomachines out of each soldier's body, they'd be losing their IDs in the process. That's so kind of yikes, you know? Hey, hopefully streaming. You're doing well. Hallelujah. Never mind. So this system is foolproof. She's no. Completely. They call it SOP. Sons of the Patriots. The AI that controls it is a tightly guarded secret, both yeah, at Arms Colonel. Tech Security, where it was developed, and at the Pentagon. There's no way a third party could get control of it. I just met a guy who said he can launder ID guns. The system does have holes. There can't be more than a few hundred of those gun launderers. It's just a grassroots movement. It's not like they can affect the entire PMC war machine. Hmm. Anyway. Liquid would have had to register as a PMC in the system to assemble an army that <laughs> Hey, Dr. Nav. His PMCs might even exceed the U.S. military in terms of numbers, but as long as they're registered, their soldiers' activities are constantly being monitored. So long as the U.S. responds immediately when Liquid makes his move, Damn. we can take them down by force. By force, huh? When Arsok heard about Liquid's plans, they sent us to sniff around the PMCs. Even with this SOP keeping an eye on things, there are always trouble spots to deal with in the field. Disorderly conduct, disobeying orders, contract violations. We act as backup for the system okay. by monitoring the soldiers. No, they'd the be wanting to work with us on the future. carried out on the battlefield. That's why we're authorized to carry and use weapons. We've lost five inspection teams in the past few months alone. They were all undercover inside Liquid's PMCs. Then, if you got caught... We'd be exterminated like rats. But we're smarter than that. We've been mingling with the PMCs. And after three months of searching God knows how many battlefields, we finally tracked him down. Oh shit. <laughs> Let's go. About damn time. Welcoming Malinky Fox. <laughs> Welcome on in. Superiors ordered us to provide the UN investigators with intel. <laughs> but I didn't know it'd be you. Didn't the colonel tell you he was sending me? Colonel? Don't tell me it's Campbell. Yeah. He put you up to this? You didn't know. Uh, you've got to be kidding. You expect me to work with my uncle? Tension. Meryl. This is bullshit. He's not my father. Girl, chill. She wants AI Colonel instead. <laughs> like it never happened. So you knew. Yeah. Little violation of the need to know rule. Then 
Why are you still calling him uncle? You're still calling him Colonel. He's your father. As far as I'm concerned, we're still uncle and niece. I will never forgive that womanizing piece of shit. Meryl. He... Herman? He, uh... Remarried. Really? New <laughs> wives about my age. Damn, get it, Colonel. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. It's <laughs> as if he's given up on making up with his own daughter. He cares more about worms. Men. Selfish, egotistical pigs. Commander. What is it? There's 20 of them. <laughs> That's how you break your hand, yeah. It's the frog. His private troops. The frog. Interesting. Oh, crap. Why aren't you riding? This is not good. Oh. Oh. Uh, were you being followed? No. How are we going to have two people shitting themselves already? Akiba! They might have seen the reflection off my scope lens. Whoa, wait, 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 hang on. You guys think it was my fault? Oh shit, welcome back, Wire. Oh, 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 no. Oh, Hashim, you're fault. not about to do I this. Swear. It wasn't my fault. Oh man. Oh, look, I... I Dumbass. I thought he was going to pee himself. Out. Meryl, where's Liquid? At a camp up ahead. Damn, Maybe Apple got a sponsorship in this? We're still alive. You guys see the Apple laptop? Follow me. Damn, I paid for that? Crazy. I'm going to go buy a MacBook now. Jump like frog. Eye contact. These guys are with Liquid's private army. Shoot first, think later. We'll use the stairs and get out through the back door on the first floor. <laughs> We'll change the route as necessary. I'm on point. Stay close. Got it? Got it. Got it. Akiba, breathe deep. Got it. We've got a real live legendary hero with us. Try not to choke. <laughs> Move! So, they're coming for me. You're blocking my shot. Oh, okay, so do you guys just want to protect me, or...? Okay. Cool with me. I'll just listen to my iPod. Hmm, okay. Oh, here we go. Okay, okay. That's true, you did have to do that. Wow, it's been so long. That's so true. Wow. Here we go, he be no. Music collection. Yeah, you have to rotate it. It's crazy. Gonna listen to the new Muse album, hell yeah. <laughs> Not a good time for back pain. Meryl Bucket shots like Garrison Mass Effect. We play the brick baking game that came on all by iPods back then, right? Be nice. Okay, fine, I'll be good. I'm sure like they want me to not participate. So. 
Submachine gun fires the new 5.7 millimeter rounds. Ready with the L1 button. Fire with the R1 button. Blah, blah, blah. Um, <laughs> okay, we just go through the door. We like to be extra. He's not getting his health back. Okay, they're going nuts. Stay with Marilyn. There's a bit much occurring. There's so many of them, holy shit. <laughs> no, snake. Okay, fine. I always forget the buttons for this shit. the downstairs were to be honest. I guess it was back over that one. about her i only love you since when do i care about meryl why'd she go that way dude oh my God. since when did we ask Is that her or you're fine girl Why don't we just go? She seems like she's doing totally fine if you ask me. out now or God, it's so confusing Ugh. try not to get lost challenge impossible 
Okay, let's go this way, guys. Are we going downstairs? Yeah. It's good. Come on. They don't trust me. People down here. What? How oh, did they all crash into each other? Contact! Oh, he's shitting himself. That's fine. It's so hard to aim the AK. I'm gonna put something else on. It's really hard to deal with this. Like whack them all. Bro, he's exploding with shit right now. Over there, or it's all you. It's all me, ah! Meryl. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? You ran right in front of me, girl, when I was killing someone. See, they would blame me for that normally. If I run in front of them, but it's like she runs in front of me, and it's all my fault. Huh? I mean this way. I guess let's go with her only. I think we are going this way, yeah. What are you doing? Maybe they went through the things? Shit. Snake, Akiba's been knocked out. And not my problem. Girl, stop screaming Snake! What did you just do? <laughs> Have you lost your mind? Oh no! What are we gonna do now, Snake? Listen. <laughs> she can take a, a machine gun firing at her head, and I do a little stab on this guy wearing full armor, and he's dead? Okay. Boo hoo. Weird. Snake, Akiba's been knocked out. Who's that? Is that a bad guy? Okay. Am I supposed to care about Akiba being knocked out? Okay. And <laughs> you get me, girl. <sighs> Thank you, Meryl. Girl, <laughs> can you not beat my ass? Oh, look at Akiba. I didn't even notice that before. He he really shit his pants right now. Good Star Trek Prodigy, nice. Very cool. 
Meryl knows the basics of CQC. <laughs> Train the life bar from the stench, that'd be funny. man's really walking around with poopy ass right now. Ah. <laughs> Let's see if we can save. Seems like a good time. Do you think Metal Gear Solid became too much like Call of Duty? Um, doesn't seem like it's so far. I mean, this is definitely a long like action shooting sequence, but no, not necessarily. At least so far, at least in the other games, I don't think. So. Knock it off. I thought you would have moved. Sorry, I'm gonna take your turn quickly, sir. Not time for all that. There's freaking helicopter in this bitch. Doing everything. <laughs> they get the other person. They didn't. Okay, cool. Can we jump over? No? <sighs> Bro, stop. <laughs> Thank you for posture check light speed. Thank you for hydration time frost. Rick may kill Rouge, Rouge, or Rouge. Mm, that's a tough one. You gotta marry Rouge. And I'd have to break it. Unfortunately, I don't want it. to kill Rouge. Someone get him some new pants, right? <laughs> oh, that happened to the James Bond games. Interesting. I haven't played those ones. They're nothing alike, yeah. Okay, I have camouflage with Akira's poopy pants. <laughs> oh, oh, jump yeah. already. Give him a second. Well, the second time through, I mean, worked out. We definitely did a lot better there. So. going. Akiba's Kojima self-insert. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> or Kojima. To get that looked at. Stomach problem. Huh. Hmm. 
Interesting. Screams are so intense. He likes to make extra sure. The nano machine network inside each unit member's body. Let's us share each other's senses. That's creepy. They can see what I see. And it helps control pain. That's that so weird. System two. With SOP, my team can literally operate as one. Well, except for a certain someone who's not much of a team player. So, what do you think? Is your age of heroes finally over? <laughs> I'm no hero. Never was. Never will be. You haven't changed at all, Snake. But... Your body... Are you gonna be alright? This get-up doubles as a muscle suit. I can still get around. Liquid's camp is up ahead. I'll mark it on your map. Thanks. Akiba! One man's blunder can compromise the whole team. I'm sorry, Commander. Poor Akiba. Be careful, Snake. She's wearing the sneaking suit. <laughs> I don't even want to touch her that close. Love that old snake theme, yeah. Cute. That's not Raiden. I'm so glad it's not. If, if Kojima did that to Raiden, I think I would cry. We missed you, Otacon. Otacon, I know where Liquid is. Yeah, I'm confirming the location. It's to the north of where you are. Meryl's really changed, hasn't she, Snake? She's a lot more self-assured. So are you. <laughs> I wonder how much of that has to do with the system. The senses you used to develop through extended training and experience can now be obtained without even working for them. Seems once you're under the system's control, you don't even need experience at all. Uh, he's like, shouldn't even work for VR it. VR training that was all the rage a few years back. Yeah. The growing need for PMCs has led to the creation of a more reliable, cost-effective supply of elite soldiers. It's also made the child soldier phenomenon more problematic mm. than ever. Can the nanomachines do anything to counteract post-traumatic stress disorder? Good question. They might provide a degree of psychological stability. You'd think so. That geek kid, Akiba, he was really starting to lose it. And technologically, the system should be able to optimize each soldier's personality traits. And that big guy, he didn't seem to be feeling any pain at all. Augmenting the soldier's existing experience and psychological fortitude. But a soldier's gotta have more than that. The times have changed, Snake. <laughs> Just like Meryl. <sighs> Maybe it's unbalanced. Snake, hurry to the PMC camp. Based on what Meryl told us, Liquid should be there. Interesting. I mean, Otacon is so calm, too. Like, hard to believe this is the same man who pissed his pants, right? I'm just saying. Metal Gear Solid 5, Phantom Pain on Xbox One is another awesome game. Yeah. The one after this one. 
<laughs> More like Kojima worked with a guy like Akiva. Gave us an amazing soundtrack. Yeah, so far I'm really liking the music. Not snake gatekeeping war, he kind of is, right? We can't all the off be the offspring of a legendary hero snake. Yeah, he just doesn't get it. You gotta okay, understand. Time to head for the surface. What are we dealing with here? We love selling things. They're all just gone, I guess. We need to... Get out of here. I guess that way, yeah. Nobody likes Rose. Rose sucks. Rose haters in chat. You like Rose Lightspeed? Are you coming forward? That was AI Rose. Yes, it was. She started to pop off around the same time AI Colonel did. It's crazy. Although AI Colonel, he was pretty funny throughout the whole game. But the real Rose still lied to him about everything. Like, it's just like there's no basis to even, like, be into each other, in my opinion. Because it's like, you don't even know each other at all really she's like a complete stranger okay so this is the right way we got pretty good camouflage I don't know that we want to be right here necessarily. Oh, I mean, we don't really have much of a choice, so we can go back and try and go around potentially. Maybe that's the move. Yeah, we can go to an alleyway to our right, I guess. We do that. It sounds just like the one we learned. Or supposedly. Oh shit, cutscene. Bro. Hopefully they're not running me over right now. I don't feel like they are. Shit. I hope this doesn't immediately make me seen. How's the There's supposed to be some sort of hole back here. Or did I misread? Mm. Okay, so that's blocked off too. Uh, okay. So yeah, we can't go that way. Okay, well, I guess, yeah, there's only one way to go. So, it is what it is. As far as I can tell, right? Let me just make sure. Yeah, okay. All right. Always found it funny how Meryl was all hero worship and MGS and Rose was, I can fix him in MGS too. Yeah, both just really weird, honestly. I never saw romance between snake and uh and meryl it just felt really weird like they were together for maybe like four hours total in the game and that's being generous in my opinion it just seemed really odd i mean you could sympathize with their story but yeah i didn't really see anything between them besides like an understanding i suppose was there Huh, in the hole or I'm gonna go in the hole. You know I me. Mean? Four hours of just pure passion. I do, however, I do see the relationship between um take care of that. Between Eva and um Naked Snake. I felt like there was definitely something there between those two. Okay, so we need to go left. Dude, get down. Oh my god. Snake, I'm gonna go insane. Okay. Still seems kind of crazy to go that way right now. Okay, we probably should... Take the alleyway behind us. If we can. 
think we might be able to. No. Okay. I guess maybe it will update on our map, but it's okay. Yeah, it is blocked off. All right, then we have to go this way. I don't know if we should. Wait for path. It looks like they've moved on a little bit. Got my back. Me. Interesting. I'm just gonna crawl right through. Eva was more manufactured than Rose, but it worked. She did a good job. I guess whatever Raiden's into, because she was matching his interests. I mean, I don't know if AI Rose was doing that. She probably was. Raiden's just into, he's got weird taste, I gotta say. He's, <laughs> something's going on with Raiden. Eva, that was working. That's true. All right, we are just making our way downtown, walking fast. Faces pass. Sneak past you. Back me up. Might I just sneak past you here? We are approaching Doing good. So I'm probably gonna say that this is blocked off as well, would be my guess. And then so we do kind of just have to go straight through. We're chilling, we're chilling. Stray bullets everywhere. Huh, both of these look blocked off at me. Where are we supposed to go? Uh oh. <laughs> oh god, were we supposed to go that way? Ugh. Please no. So it's gonna tell me that this side's blocked off too. Not completely Ryden's fault for being cringe. He was recruited as a child soldier after all. He's not cringe other than his taste in Rose, I guess, being his ideal GF. But you're right. It's true. He, he did have a very bad upbringing. He, went, he really went through it. In the pairing MGS mains, I like to consider Snake as the movie action hero Raiden as an anime protag. I could see that. Damn, his stress levels are so low. He's just absolutely chilling. Just hanging out. Vibing. Okay, let me just refer to my handy dandy map. We can take the old alleyway route this time, maybe. Find. They will, maybe. Okay, so these guys are not my friends. Interesting. I thought it was weird that the other guys were still my friend, seemingly, when, like, I'm not even wearing the outfit anymore, but maybe I am secretly under this. It's unclear. So at this point, I was like, maybe we can just sneak past everyone. I don't know. Maybe everyone's cool. Damn, y'all found me again. Well, I guess the reinforcements could not be spared, and they could also not make do. I mean, come on, I got 95% here. What could you possibly be seeing? We are going absolute pancake mode. There's nothing to see. Okay, so this alleyway is kind of mid because these guys are not very nice. <laughs> Dude, crawl. Hmm. 
second. So, we gotta check that we can't get through there because everything else is blocked off. It's not the direct way of our objective, but maybe they want you to go that way and then like loop around or something. You know? The iPod click wheel is so calming. It really is. So nostalgic. The old Sammy Classic Sonic fan bit. Ew, that's quite nice. Oh, you're gonna have to stop shooting that stuff near me. I don't know. That looks pretty jammed up to me as well, if that's where we're heading. Kind of looks like everything's blocked off. That awkward moment when... My only other thought right now would be we go up on the ladder, maybe get on top of the buildings, and that'll open a new route up to us. Yeah, this is not looking like we're going to be able to get through here. Which is interesting. Let me just get that marked off, if that's true. Yep, okay, so... Yeah, I think maybe we gotta get some elevation, and that'll... make it more clear where we're supposed to go. So, we got a smoke grenade, nice. So there was a ladder over there in that alleyway. Not this one. Alright, let's see if this goes anywhere, because I don't know, everything else is blocked off. I didn't see any crawling tunnels or anything. Definitely sounds like there's some people up here. Okay, it seems like we can make some leeway here, though, so this is good. Whew, kind of crazy. Javelin, portable anti-tank missile. Ready it with the L1 button, fire it with the R1 button. Press the triangle while aiming to use the electronic sight. Okay. Well, I mean, I might be able to do something to the tank with this. Don't know if should Entryway here, we do. Okay. Don't think we've been in there before. I think these guys are our friends. Huh. Oh, there's another ladder over there. Hmm. Wonder where that goes. I don't know that I saw that one before. Like, what was the OG fidget spinner? That's true. It kind of was. <laughs> Let's keep going down, see what we see. Huh. I don't know if this is helping us at all if we're just getting stuff, you know? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's, that's that's fine. At that point, we've kind of seen everything. Maybe we do have to take out the tank, but... Seems like they're definitely more at a stalemate versus like they're pushing forward before. tank but it doesn't seem like it's helping them make a push or anything right now. Mm -hmm. 
Bruh. You all of a sudden care more about me? I'm just vibing. It's pretty funny for them to be like, that's the enemy. That's him right there, officer. That specific guy, not the people that we've been going to war with. Like, you're so shocked. Like, I'm the sole enemy now. Very interesting. Huh. Well, they basically have blocked off every single route that I have. Now, it's possible that maybe we could have... Maybe there's some way to exit that way here? I don't know. Just seems like we really should be going that way, considering. Can't say I know exactly what to do here. So I'm usually used to there being at least one way, if not multiple routes. Is that an iPod advertisement? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Probably just crazy. Well, I mean, we don't have any friends, but I don't really see the point in blowing up that tank. I don't see how it will help. I'm going to try to go to that ladder. And by that, I feel like that's just about all the places that I can check. Once we go there. He updates it in the sun or anything. Whew. I'm safe around here. Get up. Let's see if we get anything cool. <laughs> Continue to get shot at. Very cool. Huh, we might be able to jump off here, actually. I think this might be past the barricade. Let's go, I think, unless I just kill myself. <laughs> um, bulldozers coming through. Move. Doing good, good. Glad to hear that. Hey, I guess we okay gaming. Good to see you. How are you doing? They are going for him. Oh shit. Oh shit, here they are. Metal Gear cows. <laughs> Not seem to be working out. Holy shit, there's a bird? Hey Siri, play I Got a Feeling Club Mix by Black Eyed Peas in my iPod Classic, right? That'd be perfect for this. Holy shit, what the hell, dude? Glad you're doing good at Gutsly OK Gaming. This stream has been good. I'm enjoying this game so far. We just started it tonight. Pretty interesting.
is that who? Is Hey Fenrir, thank you so much for hydration time. Good to see you too. <laughs> Wait, is that the monkey? Is the fury reborn? Okay, that's not a monkey. Am I hearing a digivice? <laughs> Thank you, Fenrir. Well, kind of just killed everyone. That's always fun. <laughs> you messed up that thing. <laughs> Heard that bulldozer, sorry. And you need to think about it. You already destroyed it. Well, I think I'm gonna save. Alright, yeah, I think this is probably a good place to stop for tonight. But this was a good start. I'm enjoying it so far. It seems like it's building off a lot on uh, MGS3 in terms of, like, the stealth aspect. So that's pretty cool. Um, the setting is definitely very interesting so definitely feels really new in that regard and there's some pretty interesting things to see that's a cute touch manufactured by Hal Emmerich he made everything that's cute but yeah I'm liking it the story is pretty interesting so far I'm glad we could see Otacon he's kind of a total Chad like I'm just saying he doesn't seem nervous at all like I guess we'll see but he seems very confident he's just like yeah like, he's just so chill. Like, there's not even any nervousness in his voice at all. I'm proud of him. He's come so far. <laughs> but this is a fun night. Thank you guys so much for hanging out for the start of this. I'm looking forward to seeing where it goes. I had a good time. <laughs>